welcome to the Mind Media Awards. It's lovely to see you all here. We are here to celebrate the best portrayals in the media of mental health issues and to challenge stereotypes. The thing about TV and drama is it's in everybody's homes and everybody watches something that they can identify with. And when you see main characters on your TV screen that you identify with, it makes you question, you know, maybe I'm going through these things and maybe it's okay to talk about it because they're talking about it and they're dealing with it in a way that I wouldn't have dealt with it. The importance of the work that MIND is doing is about ensuring that the journalism that has been done is responsible. The reporting that we saw this year in this year's entries was very strong and very responsible. I'm always grateful to be asked to be involved in the Mind Media Awards because it's a profile of the most important issue, which is mental health. It hasn't quite sunk in that we're now <laughs> holding the award. The work of Mind is so important, it's just an incredible honour to be associated with it. On a sunny summer's day in July 2013, my beloved wife of 35 years took her own life at Fulham Broadway Tube Station. After the initial period of deranged grief. I was initially reluctant to be part of a documentary the BBC had commissioned. I'm now so very glad I did agree to appear. And I believe that programs like this are an important contribution to a greater general awareness of mental illness in the 21st century. It feels, it feels really incredible to be recognised. You know, we don't do what we do to, to win awards. We do what we do, the campaigning work we do to try and make a difference to people's lives and so just to win this is, is incredibly uh, humbling and it means so much. I'm so grateful to be accepting the award for Best Drama, um, however I am sorry that I can't be with you all tonight. Our mental health is really important and it's time we start talking about it. Yes, people do find it difficult to talk about but it's allowed people within our county to feel that they have the, the option to discuss it. I hope it helps for me to talk openly in the media about my mental health. I just think if I can help one person and make them feel just a tiny bit better, then it's worth it. I think it would have helped me to hear stories, especially stories of hope, so hopefully it does help other people. Newsrooms are starting to wake up to the power of the stories that you can get from the issues around mental health. I still think there's a huge amount of ignorance in our society um, about mental health issues and one of the ways that information to educate people about mental health is through the media, through newspapers, through films, through TV drama um, and that gets right into people's homes so I think it's absolutely essential.